reinforcing confidence dalip singha style welcome group vadodara mr dalip singha was a well personal manager welcome group vadodara now itc vadodara my campus placement 986 he was slim swal was a tea planter earlier and stephen delhi alumni if i recall correctly he was transferred from the welcome group uh, mogul shahid nagra to vadodara he had style could speak like an englishman with a typical dry wit to switch over to chaste punjabi with consummate ease he had the gait of an athlete charming the boys and girls loved his company a waistline that models would die for and yes he had a catwalk with that beautiful feline grace an ordinary interdepartmental cricket match general manager 7 versus sales manager 11 so both of us were the latter team but that's why i saw dalip singh the man to learn lesson of my life the general manager team at rajat pandya my front house colleague he was very good had made to the baroda state probables but had had played uh, inter school extra he had pedigree but lacked temperament his undoing to build in innings which my f- coach fellow and teammate kamal dalal with his grit could build in innings because he had temperament we fielding first got early wickets for that to come to bat he had hardly played an over to show us he was in fine form to build in innings that day his wicket was vital i was surprised when singer asking for the ball from our captain franz maskerinas the sales manager i was in a usual post mid off when singer bowled military medium just short of good length on the off side he knew about as rajat's drives being upish the ball came straight at me somewhere at abdomen height horror of horrors i had dropped it worse i could not stop the ball to conceal a boundary four runs the man who is my teammates glared at me i knew the moment we lost this match that mid off spot would have would be my burial ground i would be buried alive singa the bowler was disappointed to just put out put his hands on his head before he bowled the next ball he walked to me put a reassuring hand on my shoulder with neil ensure this time you take a start i am going to bowl a similar ball the catch will follow i knew you will comfortably take it i could not help but sit on my shoulders to smile it was so reassuring true to script the next ball was similar to earlier for us to get snared again driving upishly but this time i had taken a start the ball i saw the ball fly clearly towards me to comfortably take the catch as per the mcc coaching book palms held together not driving it as i tried to earlier but let the ball come into my palms held it for some time before throwing it into the air with a hoop to run towards singa at the stumps more drama was to follow during a chase as rajat out cheaply they were down but while he had a, we had our tails up we chased but lost wickets regularly towards the end when i went to bat at number 10 we needed 53 runs at almost run a ball required left handed kamal dalal my classmate with who had played earlier at the institute he was still there having come in at number 3 batting anchoring the innings we decided to take on the bowling while he would take on the bowling while i would rotate the strike with singles ones and threes the singles and threes to run hard between the wickets for miss fields we managed 49 runs at run ball rate rajesh bowling the last ball with two balls to go and four runs to win come on strike come on went for the big one he was bold now the pressure was on us at the non strikers end i removed my gloves with just a ball left and four runs to go one ball to go and four runs required singa comes in at number 11 came into bat i could see he was tying his body with his mind having bowled and fielded 50 overs on a sunday at that age with a sedentary lifestyle in the plush ambiance of five star hotel this was taxing on him more so when he was in his 50s he came in with the devilish smile so characteristic of, of him put a number on me to tell me listen son i am going to swing my bat to try for boundary but you run the moment the bowler the bowler releases the ball if i don't hit the ball we run the we run the wicket keeper standing up and he let the ball through if we can at least run three but let's give it everything we have he missed the ball we could only run three as he walked off towards the dressing room arms around each other shoulders he physically tired and i emotionally agitated cursing myself loud 
with the choicest of Punjabi exiters for giving Raja that reprieve considering the four runs that cost us the match. This video may be taken as a tribute to late to Mr. Singha's grit and the adversity. He suffered being paralyzed immobile on the bed with bed sores, etc. Yet wrote a blog updating it regularly with positivity as if, as if he was comforting me with unknowingly there may be a karmic, karmic relationship for I too was paralyzed at that time. Was he sending a message? Yet again I wondered. The grapevine had it that he had copped it. As if the grapevine had that I had copped it in 1984. Karmic relationship. That lovable devil, devil is wheelchair bound. But living his life full, full spirited, pun on spirited, partying, attending events, traveling. The lesson I learned from Mr. Dalip Singha. Again I repeat, this video may be taken as a tribute to late Mr. Singha's grit under adversity. He suffered being paralyzed in a boil a bed with bed sores. But the day after the match, he noted the time clerk, the time clerk noted my in time asked me to meet Singha Sahab. Ah, there you are, Neil. He offered me a cigarette, tea, then told me, sit down. I see you're un under you feel you're under a cloud feeling very guilty. You not slept well, kicking yourself for not for catch, dropping that catch the first time. Relax, son. What has happened has happened. You can't change it, but you can learn from it. Tell me what you learned from yesterday's match. The teenager and me burst out simultaneously, spontaneously. Take a start as soon as the bowler runs. He burst out laughing, clutching his sides. To then share the learnings, Neil, I was heartbroken. Wanted to kill you the moment you dropped that catch. Did not show it. If I had, if I had, you would have been a failure for life. I want to reinforce confidence and not reinforce failure as in Indian Army style. Don't reinforce failure, reinforce success and reinforce confidence. I would have been mad and shown it if you had dropped it without trying for it. We were defeated yesterday but not disgraced. Don't forget one team has to lose the other to, the other to win. Be defeated, no problem, but don't be disgraced. Go down with your guns blazing. Now go off, young man. Otherwise, uh, I'll keep speaking to you like the personal manager that I am. Or else, within some time, the UHOD, Mr. Jangir Ghadiali will call you and yell at me for delaying you. Embrace the twist, enjoy the turn. Reinforce confidence, reinforce success. And that's the greatest lesson that I, one of the greatest lessons I learned in life from Mr. Singha on the battlefield sportsway, the sports field. Thank you, Mr. Singha. Get run, sportsway.